Hey guys, my name is James Masella from Movie Death Buzz. I appreciate you sitting down with me today. Hi, hi James. Hi, James. Hey, hey Tony. Hey, Kevin. Tony, I got to tell you, from one Lebanese guy to another guy, you play a great Jewish father. That's just <laughs> what I got to tell you. <laughs> well, it's a very short walk, you know, from one to the other. Yeah, from natural born enemies to kissing cousins. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you guys, you know, Moish and Abe, they're like the, I call them like the Murtaugh and Riggs of, you know, Jewish families at that point. Wow. You guys, <laughs> you guys can't hear us? Yes, you could be. I, I'm dying to see that crossover. Or we'd both, we'd both constantly be saying I'm getting too old for this shit. Who would take the first shot? Nobody knows at that point. It'd be a whole argument. But <laughs> <laughs> you guys play off each other so well. Are there ever times on set where you ever get angry with one another or like actually like, you know, dislike that person for a couple seconds? I'm getting a little pissed off right now. <laughs> I don't know that it's happened in the no. run of the show between any of the actors. They, no. They, people keep asking over the years, you know, who doesn't love a little dirt, but where, <laughs> where, the, where is the, the, the breakdown in the chemistry? And, yeah. and I've not experienced a love fest like this. Everything I've ever worked on, and it's quite extensive, uh, there's always been one little tiny problem, and it's just never happened. Even our lead, Rachel, you know, she she was already Emmy nominated by the time she came to us, but she hadn't starred in anything. She hadn't been the central character. And, you know, the, the course of this show should have absolutely corrupted her soul <laughs> and heart. And it just didn't because she shot out of the canon as a superstar, um, winning, winning awards from the first season. And, and, and man, oh, man, she just became more of a mother hen, more of a loving, caring looking out for all of us and yeah more of a leader and a leader yeah natural leader yeah we haven't kevin and i haven't had any it hasn't come to blows my yet. favorite thing is when people see us out in public together at a lunch or something and they go oh no moish and abe together this can't be good <laughs> <laughs> they freak out tony i didn't think you could pluck you could play a more perfect part than the way you played monk or i mean even for me like when i heard i was getting this interview my first reaction would be tech sergeant chen from galaxy quest but oh, you're yeah, you're so good as abe weissman how do you keep him so funny like i know the writing is incredible but your performance is just so funny i can't I stop agree laughing with you, james i know this is tony's <laughs> question but i agree with you i think for me personally when i watch the show as a devoted fan his performance as abe is my favorite oh come on i'm not kidding well <laughs> he's in not terms lying. Of what makes me laugh the most that's what may he, he I, what may, I think I don't know I think the writing is is just yeah you know they just they give me all the juicy all this juicy stuff to do and um and I think you know Abe takes himself and you know the world very seriously <laughs> too hilarious. seriously and um you know waking up he's 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 always put upon waking up in the morning and taking, you know, inhaling uh, and, you know, opening his eyes for in the first moment is he's put upon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just, everything is exasperating um, because he, he, I think it's because I, I see him as a guy who sees the world a certain way, uh, is struggling to, to have that, you know, his vision realized the order he wants everything to be in a certain control issues, con huge control issues, <laughs> yeah, yeah. much yeah. like me. <laughs> well, and um, I don't know. I just, I just think they've given me this, you know, this kind of sweet. Um, he's, 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 he's just like this, this just uh, man who's always on the verge of unraveling. You know, I just, I don't, it's fun. It's just fun to play. You get my most laugh out loud moments just from me to you. You know, I know you guys both have a history with Jason Alexander. You know, Tony, I know he just started with you on Monk. And Kevin, I love the story you tell about how you got the role as Lieutenant Weinberg in A Few Good Men. I was watching your Rich Eisen interview yesterday. I've been walking around the house just going, I'm here, Robbie, whatever you need. My wife is so annoyed with it at this point. But <laughs> what was it like having him on set for a couple episodes in season four? Uh, and plays uh, uh, when he can in my weekly poker game. I've known Jason a very long time. And yes, our, our careers did um, sort of happen at the same time in, in the sense that uh, Seinfeld Chronicles, as it started, uh, four episodes only and on Friday night, not Thursday, 
if it got picked up to that second season, he wasn't available to do A Few Good Men, and that's why I was able to, to fill those shoes. And so when I was told by Rob Reiner, you know, if, I've got an offer out to Jason Alexander. If he can't do it, you're perfect. I started praying for Jason's success in a way that I don't think I have <laughs> for anyone. And it worked out ridiculously for both of us. Yeah, but um, you worked with him, so please speak no, to, I, to well, the joy of that. I actually auditioned, this, I don't know if the people know this, but I actually auditioned for his part on Seinfeld. I don't think anyone knows that. Uh, I did not know that. I was living in New York. I was single, and I was living in New York before I moved to L.A., and I was getting, you know, some TV auditions at the time because I was doing mostly theater. But uh, I went in. There was a new show. I knew who Jerry Seinfeld was, obviously. He was a big, yeah. successful stand-up. And, um, you know, really got a hold of the script, the sides. And, uh, God, I wanted that part. Well, yeah. And I read, I think, Larry, I think I read for Larry, even though, I, you know, we didn't know Larry David then. No. But um, he was there. I, I, um. I obviously did not get nailed it. it. Did, you, wait a minute, did I get the job? You nailed it. I don't remember. You nailed it. No, I don't think I did get that one. Anyway, had um, Jason already won the Tony Award? Oh, Jason was a massive Broadway star. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't tell you how many jobs I lost to him. Anyway, <laughs> not that I'm bitter. I'm, I'm over it. Um, but uh, but we did. He did come graciously to do this episode of Monk, which was so good. He was so good and. Was a lot the question was about him and this show. Oh, how much fun did you guys have with him on set? Oh, yeah, working with him on this show. Well, it was the stuff on the beach. It was fantastic. Oh yeah, yeah. He's a, he's his a little, dream. He's his a, also just dreamy, just to hang with, because yeah. he's got. He is a, a raconteur of the first order. He has so many stories about yeah. so many people. Yeah, and so many, you know, projects and. Uh, yeah, so it was it was a blessing to have him. You know, you guys have been on the show since day one, basically every episode, and this is the final season. Are you guys taking any keepsakes or souvenirs home from the set that you know you've had, you know, felt close with throughout the years? Yeah, that was the big question for me shooting the last season was when do I start stealing stuff from the set? <laughs> uh, and then they always would do it. Yeah, and, yeah, and then they offered, so that took the pressure off. Um. Was there something that you? I I wanted the the, the, the only thing I really wanted to take uh, home was was Kevin and uh, <laughs> I, I mean he just he just let's just say he was less than cooperative. He <laughs> it was a strange he was, request. He wasn't into it. Well, you weren't into it. I mean, I, sure. <laughs> I had brought the crate, the handcuffs, everything. I don't know. He was uncooperative. Got it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it wasn't in my <laughs> wish list to, to be. I thought you liked my apartment. <laughs> I do, but <laughs> to be the gimp. Yeah. Uh, last question I got, Kevin. You know, I'm used to seeing you. you know, I'm, I'm, I was born in 86, so I grew up in the 90s, and I was definitely watching movies I wasn't supposed to be I watching. Was very, very big in the 90s. <laughs> you know, Goodfellas, Usual Suspects, A Few Good Men. But I got to uh -huh. ask you about. Uh, a movie you were in in 1996 with your wife and this show, Caroline Aaron, called House Arrest. Do you remember House that? House Arrest. <laughs> House Arrest. Yeah. And, you know, your, your co-star, Jamie Lee Curtis, just won an Oscar from that. Any stories you can tell us from the set of House Arrest? Anything comes to mind? Well, you know, they don't often give on-screen kisses to a squat Jew character actor. <laughs> um, my first, by the way, was with Naomi Campbell in Miami Rhapsody, just saying. Don't brag. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. And um, but but Jamie Lee and I do our are, are husband and wife, so there is a big kiss moment, and that might have been a little too much for me to handle. Uh, but <laughs> but impersonating Wally Shawn for the cast and crew, and um, uh, who's also in the trapped in the basement with us, and then to have him come up from behind me, and you can just see it in everyone's faces who are looking at me impersonating him, you know, that moment when they see the person walk in behind me oh, and, not, and wondering why the impression. Why is everybody doing, why, 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 why was it killing it and now it's tanking? <laughs> no, it's terrific, Kevin. Keep going. It's great. I was loving it. 
Um, no, the, yeah, that whole experience and to work again with Caroline has been a dream. Gotcha. Thanks, guys. I'm out of time, though. I appreciate you sitting down with me. I can't wait for everybody to see the final season. and can't wait to see what you guys do next. Hopefully, we'll talk again soon. Thank Thanks you. See you.